Hi guys! Welcome back to Personality. I want to first start off and say we finally reached a thousand subscribers and to me that is a lot. I remember starting off and only having like 20 subscribers and then each day I would get about like one to two new subscribers and then my views were you know low and my comment section wasn't popping the way it's popping now. Um, and you know, I look at other people that are on YouTube, you know, some people that I have, that I myself watch, and I've seen them start from nothing and gain so much. And you know, I'm very appreciative for each and every one of you, and it continues to grow. Like now, I'm getting way more than one to two subscribers today. My, like I said, my comment section is popping. My views are going up and I think that's also just me being comfortable and staying consistent within my my own uploads and the 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 whole build of my channel. Um, my first year, you know, I'm super excited to express and explain, you know, what I did, what I should have done and what I will be doing. And I just, you know, let's get just get right right into it. Um, so I started YouTube a year ago and after watching so many people for quite some time, like years on YouTube, I was like, why don't I do this? Like, I went to school to be an actor, don't want to act. Well, I don't say I don't want to act. I just don't want to pursue acting as a career. And I, um, I was kind of just lost after that, you know, I do write music and I'm very passionate about our environment, the earth, and spirituality, but I didn't have a direct path, a plan, or goal to what I wanted to do, but one day I was watching YouTube and I was just like, I can, for some reason I just felt really inspired that I should be doing YouTube. And it was more than just doing YouTube, it's what my content and my message and my channel would be about. And as a vegan, as someone who's environmentally conscious and spiritual, and I love hair, I love beauty, there's so many outlets, I had trouble trying to decide which one. And I was kind of trying to just do it all. When I was like planning like my channel, I was like, I'm just gonna do it all. And for me, it became chaotic and nothing was actually being achieved. So I was like, what is one thing that I have done before all the changes in my life and that one thing was hair I've been doing hair since I was in middle school maybe actually let me give myself the true credit I've been doing hair I think it was early late elementary I was waiting for my cousin to braid my hair and she was braiding my sister's hair at my grandma's house and I remember I was younger as the youngest so I was like I'm going to the bathroom and after watching her like just French braid in my sister's hair, I went to the bathroom and I did the first, the front half of my hair and I would let the back of my hair just lay and like the hair just flow. So I had this, I wish I had pictures to insert, but it's so funny. So I learned how to braid then and then from braiding that moved to um, learning how to do micros, from learning how to do micros to learning how to do clip-in extensions, from that sew-ins. And now, like, there is, I literally feel like there's nothing I can't do. I know how to cut hair, I know how to dye hair, I know how to curl, so everything, I know how to do it. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start my channel with hair because I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> and I do my own hair, so what, there, it, that's an easy outlet to just record myself as I'm doing my hair and show you guys. So that was one thing, um, but bigger than hair, bigger than YouTube itself, I really wanted to spread the message of veganism and I continue, you know, even in my everyday life I think I have done a great job continuously in explaining and um, explaining and being a source of information because a lot of people starting off this diet or even just they would just want to know about veganism. They have a lot of questions. So being that source of information for people was an outlet that I could express veganism to people. But I think 
I personally feel I didn't do my best doing that my first year on YouTube on my channel. I think I kind of got sucked into the hair videos, which even still I did not upload frequently and consistently like I should have in the beginning. And even towards the, the end of my first year, it kind of slowed down. There's so many like exciting things happening right now in my life that are moving me forward and everything's just being moved out of the place. We're moving, we're gonna be traveling. Um, there's just so much up in the air that I was just like, ah, YouTube, I don't know. But I just, I learned that um, moving forward, I just want to document it all because even as an outline and a timeline for myself, it's something that I did want to reference in my past. So being able to continuously upload while just filming for general purposes, even for myself to look back in years and be like, oh, that, that happened, I think is a great, just a great outlook at what YouTube um, offers to you. Um, so starting off, like I said, I started off with less than 20 subscribers and I have over a thousand now and my goal for next year is 10,000 or more, 10,000 plus. Um, and I know it's possible, I just have to be consistent and I have to make sure that my content is exactly what I want it to be and that's the, that's the general thing that I think if you, anyone wants to start YouTube, don't think about it for the money because like the money don't come. The money is not there. So you actually have to be super passionate about what your content is and what your schedule of consistent upload is going to be because it sucks. Nothing sucks more than people going to your channel and then there's nothing new. And then they find someone else who's more consistent. And like, you know what? It's like any relationship, a friendship. It's like, you know, you, you say, you talk a lot, but you don't do nothing. So I think um, knowing what your content is and what your message is and really be passionate about it. Like, I know people who just do makeup. And some people are like, oh, it's just a makeup artist. But they're passionate about it. And that passion radiates off the screen onto you and now you've built a bond and you trust this person so obviously make sure that your content is something you're passionate about because then it's it just it's free-flowing like you it's second second nature maybe first nature actually you just do it um, secondly content second is consistency Consistency is um, a huge part on how you gain more subscribers, how your subscribers are going to look at you, and how frequently you're going to receive views. And I think I could have done 90% better with my uploading. Um, it's just I jumped in, and I'm glad I jumped in, and I swam around. I didn't drown. I swam around and. I feel better about moving forward now that I have the experience of my do's and my don'ts. So moving forward, I'm picking a consistent schedule, two uploads a week, and because it's it's so doable, so doable. So two uploads a week, um, three, I would say your quality of the presentation. You know, you don't have to have the best lighting. I mean. You do have to have the best lighting. You don't have to have to have the top-notch lighting systems. You can if you want to. A lot of people work that way, especially if you don't have a lot of natural light coming into your filming space. Definitely invest in lights. I invested in lights when I was doing my hair videos, and I tend to find that I just like the natural lighting better. It pops off the the colors and the radiation on the skin and it's a little bit more vibrant in my opinion so I prefer natural light. I still use my my lights when I need to which is very rare but like your quality of your presentation needs to be a one. Not that it's necessary because I've seen people go from zero to a hundred with just having a consistent upload schedule. Their consistency was correct and their content they were passionate about it and like that just translated off the film or off the screen so it's not a deal breaker but the way technology and everything is advancing even YouTube a lot a lot of things are advancing that I think it's really important to just um, have a good quality package 
um, so the quality of your presentation is important and to be honest that is it those three things are the only things that I realized that it really takes to grow your success on YouTube grow your success as an individual to gain sponsorships and all that is making sure that your quality your consistency and your content is all a one it's just all perfect and make sure that it's um, something that you truly want to do because there's a lot of hard work like the editing of films and even like finding places to film even if it's in your apartment just like the whole getting ready to film is a job before you actually start filming and so I think it's important to know that when you're starting YouTube or just being independent and entrepreneur that you're in charge you know you're going to be the reason why you fail or succeed and there's um, benefits to failing and there's benefits to succeeding um, but what was I gonna say it's not gonna be about hair veganism lifestyle just whatever I want to talk about then um, but I'm excited to what's come. There's going to be a lot of travel vlogs coming because we're going to be doing a lot of traveling for the rest of the year. There's going to be a lot more hair videos because I have a lot more time. Oh, you guys don't even know. I'm going to give a life update because the life has been updated. It has. It has. It has. It has. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come on and say thank you. For all the subscribers that have subscribed to my channel, even the people that have viewed my channel and that don't subscribe, I still appreciate you. You know, you you believe in what you're watching because you're watching it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I do want to say um, that YouTube, because a lot of people have are not getting my videos, so YouTube, you know. They always have uploads and you have to turn on your notification button which is the red bell i believe it will be on this side if not on that side it'll be on this side uh and you just need to click that red bell because you need to it they are either up unsubscribing people or they're just not sending you the video not notifications when i am uploading so make sure you have your notification buttons turned on make sure you are subscribed to my channel make sure you go to my youtube channel and comment and tell me what you want to see or leave a constructive comment on a video i would appreciate that also follow me at instagram my name is person natalie at person natalie i will have that here or here? No, I have it here. <laughs> I still knew with plugging stuff in. It's kind of uncomfortable just because I'm like, just go follow me. I just. Anyway, I'm going to repeat my three things I think you should do in order to be successful is content. Positive content that you are passionate about. Make sure that content is something you're passionate about. Two is a consistent upload schedule. Consistency in just what you're uploading as well. Three, your presentation. That means how you edit, your camera quality, your light quality, all of it. Thank you so much for watching, personality. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Purse Natalie. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.